Cool. All right, what do we got next? Next we have accent or ghost. So in this segment, I'll present Adam with a largely debated topic among the drumming industry, a new product or any viewer submitted content and Mm -hmm. we'll get approval, accent, or a disapproval, ghost. Oh yeah. All right, so first topic is high snare drums. High snare drums. Hmm, that's tough. Like See, higher than thighs, just way up yeah. there. Yeah. Well, okay. So I love. I think Todd Zuckerman actually had a great point about this, where he said, uh, "Think about your kitchen counter. Like when you're deciding how high a kitchen counter goes, you almost want to make it like if you had a knife and you were chopping something like right in front of you. Like if your kitchen counter was six inches higher, it, the angle for the knife is weird. And if it's six inches lower, the angle for the knife is weird. And so I kind of think that way, like if you were building a kitchen, you would have to think about those angles of like, where do you want stuff right in front of you, like like food prep, you know? And I think about snare drums kind of in the same way, like where do your hands just naturally fall? A big variable here you have to keep in mind is rim shots, like do you like playing rim shots? If you don't, then that would definitely change your snare position. For me, I tend to not move my snare that much as much as I do my throne. I would adjust my throne. So for me, this is just how I personally set it up. I put my snare level with the floor tom, maybe three to four inches. So if you have the rack tom rim, and you put your your fist right here, so the rack tom rim is right above your knuckle, then the bottom of my fist would be at like the snare rim. So like four inch gap between the top rim of the rack tom and the top rim of the snare drum. That's about where I place that. And then what I do is I basically, you know, adjust my throne to the point where I get a natural rim shot. And I like my hand to be very close to my thigh at the bottom of that rim shot. So when my stick makes contact with the head and then the rim of the drum, I basically like my hand to be like a millimeter above my thigh. Not quite touching, but as close as possible. And for me, that normally means sitting on the high side. But it really, I've also found over the years, you can get used to almost anything. Like if you adjust your throne by one inch and then you give that a week or two weeks, you'll get really used to it and then you go back down and then that feels wrong. So for anybody that that has experienced that where you make that snare height adjustment or the throne height adjustment and it feels a little bit off, if you give it time, I swear within like six or seven days, it feels totally natural. And you might find that as you make those adjustments and sort of get used to new heights and positions, maybe you'll find something in there that you like. So I think the name of the game there is just experiment. Don't go for anything too extreme. Just try everything and be patient. Give yourself some time to figure it out. And yeah, explore the whole spectrum. You'll find something that's that's comfortable for you. So we're gonna accent or ghost it? Mm, just setting them high in general. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ghost that. Don't do it for no reason. Slow and steady. Don't do anything extreme. Yeah, just putting it high for the sake of being high. That's that's some cool kid shit. You don't need to do that. I'll say ghost it. No. <laughs> uh, we should also mention too uh, the dimensions of your body kind of matter. I'm sure. Definitely. If I'm being a, a taller, lankier person than you. If we did a side by side comparison of how my kit is set up to yours, we would yeah. see large differences. I tend to keep my throne a little bit lower, snare a little bit higher. Yeah, just to compensate for your legs, right? Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, I should have mentioned that for sure. For sure. <laughs> 